Hey guys, this is Vijay, host. So today we are going to talk about uh, how we can convert your uh, leaf uplink port for the uh, data port or for configuration port. For example, I have this leaf switches and you have bought the leaf switch and uh, this we have the many 10 gig interfaces. This is the 10 gig interface panel you have. 10 to 25 gig interface. Now you have bunch of uplink ports, which are currently uh, 40, 40 gig to 100 gig you have, okay? 40 to 100 gig you have. And this is around 12 port or, or, or six port you have. And out of 12 port, only two ports you are using for the spine connectivity. Now, if you have the requirement where you want to have the, uh, you know, connection for the 40 gig or 100 gig servers for the end host connectivity. And since you do not have the inbuilt interface to use the 40 gig to 100 gig interface, you can convert this uplink port, which are uh, reserved uh, in the uh, leap switches for the spine connectivity. Okay, 40 gig, here you have. Yeah, I'm going to convert this 40 gig or 100 gig, anything you can have this. So out of a few ports, out of two ports, remaining ports, I will convert into the my uh, EPG, EPG ports or configuration port, L2 ports. And these two ports, I'm going to keep that fabric port towards spine. Okay, so let me log into my switch and let me show that this is the switch I have. This is the hardware I have. Show module. Show module. Sorry. If I go here. So module. So this is series uh, model number I have, which has around 12, 40 gig to 100 gig ports and the 48, 25 gig ports. Okay, if I show just show LLDP neighbor, I have this port which are connecting towards the spine switches, but uh, out of this around 50, 51, 52 till 57, I'm using for the my uh, EPG connectivity. Okay. Now, if I go to here, if I say so interface brief, Now these are tongue ports, you will see that. However, these ports, you will see that these ports are 100 gig ports, right? And uh, these some ports, some of the ports are, we are using as a 40 gig ports. So I'm going to use these ports, these ports as a my uh, downlink ports. Okay, so how you can convert that? You log into the APIC uh, graphical interface, go to the inventory, then go to the only specific sleep switch. Click on the leaf switch, then click on the interface. The moment you will click on the interface, you will see that the right side you will, you will see the mode. Okay. In the mode section, this is the 4.2 version I have, which I'm using uh, for the ACI version. So I will say that configuration. The moment I will say configuration, only the only ports which will be highlighted here which are the currently fabric ports i have around 12 ports i will accept these two ports i will convert all the 50 to 57 ports as a, a layer 2 port i'm going to use all either layer 3 bpc anything you can configure it okay so what i will do here is i will convert these ports for my use so i will select this port number 50 51 52 all these ports i will use for my downlink ports, if you see that fabric port and downlink port, I have to say that downlink port, the moment I will say download downlink port, it will say that in order to use this port, you have to reload this switch. Okay, so what I will do, I will submit it and reload this switch. I will ask this device, submit and reload this switch. Okay, it will take around 20 to 30 minutes around. After that, it will automatically come back my switches. And after that, I will show that how it looks like. Meanwhile, I will pause the video. Thanks.